Hello everyone, this is Michelle with Michelle Crochets in Kansas. I hope you're all doing well today. I want to welcome you all here, whether you're a new subscriber, a returning subscriber, or you're here for the very first time. I ask you to please subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell and set it to all so that you won't miss any videos, upcoming videos that I have coming up. I thank you all for being here. Please leave me a comment in the descript or in the comment section below this video. If you have prayer requests, you can leave those in the comment section or you can email them to me. My email address is in the description box below this video. I read all, all the comments and I read all my emails. I would gladly res hear, respond and pray for you and rejoice with you if you have answered prayer. Thank you all so much for being here. I'm reading today from the devotional Daily Strength for Overcoming Depression and Anxiety. Many of us struggle with that, especially during the winter months, shorter days. I pray that each of you is doing well, staying safe, and finding comfort in praying and reading God's Word. Spending time with Jesus. Here we go. January 29. Radiant Hope is the title of this one. The Lord alone is our radiant hope, and we trust in Him with all our hearts. His wraparound presence will strengthen us. Oh, that is so good. That is Psalm chapter 33, verse 20 in the TPT. And I'm not sure what those initials stand for. I used to know, but I forgot. I'll have to look it up someday. When nothing seems when nothing seems to be going right and we are overwhelmed by all that needs to be done, it can be hard to not spiral in worry. But God is our sure help in every season. When we we rely on our own limited strategies to get us through. They will only take us so far. God's wisdom is better, and it is the perfect solution to every problem we encounter. Thank you, Lord. In our weakness, God meets us with the power of His presence and strengthens us. His Spirit wraps around us with the warmth of His love that embraces us. We find our hope in this place. He is the sweetest treasure in this life. His goodness is ever increasing. We have not seen the end of it. Let us trust Him with all our hearts. Wow. That is awesome to me. I would love to hear your interpretation of this. What, how does this make you feel? Do you spend enough time with the Lord to calm your fears? Or do you just pray when anxiety strikes without enjoying the peace in His presence? 
Heavenly Father, help us to find time to spend alone with you. I ask you to be the comfort for everybody who's reading these devotionals with me. I thank you, Lord. Here is what our response. Lord, fill my heart with hope as I look to you. You surround me with your presence and my heart comes alive. I want to know you more today. Encourage my soul in the way that only you can. Heavenly Father, I ask you to be with each and every one of who is here listening to these devotionals, following along with me, and everyone who seeks you, Heavenly Father. Wrap us in your loving embrace. Comfort us, Lord, when we need comforted. Strengthen us when we are weak, Heavenly Father. Give us wisdom, Lord. Help us to love one another, Heavenly Father, and share the love of Jesus with those around us. I ask you, Lord, to be with all of us Encourage us, comfort us, strengthen us. Give us wisdom, Lord. We need you. Help us to build one another up. Encourage one another. Help us to stop putting each other down. Help us to strive for peace, Heavenly Father. Peace in this world, peace with you peace with one another. We need you, Lord. I'm asking you to just be with all of us, Heavenly Father, whether we are believers or non-believers, old, young, in utero. I'm praying for my future grandchild. Don't know what gender it'll be. But I'm praying, Lord, that you have your hand upon him or her mightily. I ask you, Lord, to be with, empower us, Lord. Help us to live uh, godly lives for you and shine your light into the world. I ask it, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. If you enjoy these devotionals, please give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, share me out. The more the merrier. I'm, we're all focusing on our Lord, and the more around God's throne, the better. It is my job in this life to bring as many people as I can to him and if you're a believer that's your job too so i thank you lord for everyone who's here everyone who's reading listening to these devotionals and these prayers of mine i ask you lord to be with each and every one as we go about our day i ask it in jesus name Amen. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. I look forward to meeting you in my lives. I have lives every Monday morning or every morning at 6.30 Central Time. We do a devotional and prayer and we do challenge cards if I can. And that's every day. And then on every day, I also have a 2 o'clock uh, review of Reset until we do our 20 days. We're on day 12 today. And that, that's at 2 o'clock Central Time. It's a video. 
then this video at 5 p.m. Central Time every day. And then there's uh, on Wednesday mornings at 9 a.m. Central, I do a Bible study on Psalm 119. This week we will be studying the third stanza. It's eight verses. Uh, God bless you all. Hope to see you then. Have a great day, everyone. Bye for now.